Okay, well, we're starting this morning talking about the government's Eat Out to Help Out scheme. It ends today, less than a month after it was first launched. It was dubbed Rishi's Dishes. The discount scheme has helped around 90,000 restaurants, with many announcing they will extend the discount, paying for it themselves. In a moment, we're going to talk to Jessica Scriven and Mark Aston. They're at Harley's Smokehouse Restaurant in Staffordshire, and they say extending the discount is the only guaranteed way to keep their business open. First, uh, Alice is here to explain how this happened how this works. So it ends today. It does. It does. The end of Rish's Dishes. Yes. I mean, it's been going on for the last five weeks. It's a big day. I was amongst many who was ringing to get a, a table for lunch <laughs> somewhere today to get the discount. Um, and, and then I discovered that my local restaurant was extending through the whole of August, September, so I didn't need to rush anyway. Look, the aim of this uh, five-week project was to get us back into the restaurants. The hospitality industry, as we know, had suffered the most monumental crash, of course, during lockdown. You know, sales were down in the first quarter of £30 billion, 87% drop in sales. Of course, it's the, it's the UK's third biggest employer. So you've got to think that all those people, all those staff were at home, nobody was working. So there were, it needed to get restaurants signing up to this and it did, 87,000 restaurants did. signed up to it. Yeah. 64 million meals have been eaten um, and that budget that the government, that Rishi Sunak put aside for this project of £500 million has literally been eaten up. Now, there were critics, there were people who said, look, for, you know, fast food restaurants shouldn't be encouraging people to go in and get discounts on meals that wouldn't be good for our health. But it has got people out. It has literally saved some restaurants, and some restaurants, as you said, cannot continue without it. They feel it's really, really important. So nationwide chains have said, we are going to continue this. Some nationwide chains have said, we're going to continue this. Throughout September, okay. they're taking it a stage at a time because what they're doing basically is selling meals at cost yeah. from Monday to Wednesday. And that's quite a big risk because not only are you just obviously taking away your, project, your profits for three days of the week, but you're also devaluing your meals. And some have said that if you lower the price, then consumers get used to that and it's very hard to bring it back up again. Um, so the big uh, chains that are going to continue this and they think it's the right move are Weatherspoons. They're launching Stay Out to Help Out in September. Then Harvester, Toby Carvery, Bills, Pizza Hut, Franco Manco and, uh, and Prezzo. They've all said, you know, this is absolutely worth it. You know, Monday through Wednesday is the new weekend. Thursday is the new Monday and they want people to come out. And smaller independent, ch uh, smaller chains and some independent restaurants have said, we need to do this too. So some of them are adapting it slightly. You've got Peru Peru in Manchester. That's a South American, very popular restaurant. Um, they're extending it. It's a no-brainer, they said. The Craft Dining Room in Birmingham, this is Andrew Sheridan's restaurant, they are offering the deal in its current format in Wednesdays and Thursdays. So you've got to actually yeah. look at your local restaurants. Uh, Dean's in Belfast, very popular. They're going to be continuing through September. You've got Juniper Place, Cardiff and Swansea, really popular Welsh uh, restaurant chain. They are going to be running it Monday through Thursday. So you've got four days of the week to go and eat out at a £10 discount each per head or a £50 discount. Iberica in Manchester, Leeds and Glasgow as well, popular tapas chain. They're going to be continuing it too. So, um, you know, and uh, throughout the country, you will find you well, have yes, local you restaurants. Said that those smaller restaurants. We're going to go now to uh, Staffordshire, to Harley's Smokehouse Gastro Pub to talk to Jessica Scriven and Mark Aston. Good morning, both. Good morning. Good morning. So, Jessica, you're, you're the manager and Mark is head chef. Jessica, tell us how has lockdown affected the business before this, dis you know, the, the government offering this scheme? What was business like? How concerned were you for your, your restaurant? So not only did we lose, obviously, the foot flow in the restaurant, um, a lot of our events were cancelled. We also do weddings, so all of those were cancelled. Um, we lost all of our bookings in the restaurant. Um, we did manage to do takeaways. We did manage to get them to take off, obviously, not the normal income we would normally have. Um, we are a family-run business, so we did, have, um, we did lose our main director, which obviously a massive impact for the... Um, family at the time, so it has been a really, really difficult time for us. So, Mark, when the initiative came in, Eat Out to Help Out, you're there in the kitchen. Could you noticeably uh, feel the difference? Yeah, it's gone, it's gone through the roof, really. We've, we've, 
doubled our covers. Um, we're taking um, more than we've ever taken. So um, it's really, really helped us. Um, yeah. And I mean, uh, Jessica, um, Alice was saying there that one of the, the problems may be when you reduce your prices, it's very difficult then to put them back up again. Yeah. I think for us, really, we're just kind of, you know, we're going to carry on. We have spoken as management. Um, we're going to see how we get on. And if we get the foot flow through, we're more than happy to keep this going, carry on it through October. For us, it's just a way of welcoming back our customers that have supported us through the months, you know, kind of opening our doors back. It's been fantastic to have everybody back. And also so it's great, just a way of... Yeah, it's yeah. great to, to have your, your regulars back. What about new yeah, customers? Has this encouraged new people yeah. that maybe haven't been before? Yeah, we've seen a lot of new faces, a lot of people that have came to us, visited the venue, eaten with us, and they've actually booked to come back on a day that isn't part of the Eat Out to Help Out. It's just been fantastic. It really, really has been a saving for our restaurant. Yeah, Thank goodness. Yeah, we found that weekends are sort of picking up as well, so, if, so it hasn't dropped off. So we're not, we're not doing as many as we do at weekends, but it's certainly helping. And as, as Jessica and Mark have said there, their, their figures have gone up, gone through the roof. I think Open Table did a survey and all sales were up 61% on last year. So actually more than this time last year. So it has encouraged sales yeah. above and beyond mm -hmm. what they were doing last year. And above and beyond, do you really feel, guys, that you'd have gone under without this? Yeah, it would have been I very think it would have been very, very difficult for us to keep it going. Like I said, we did do the takeaways. We did do well with them but nothing that we would normally have had. And obviously with us losing our weddings, our private parties, it would have definitely been a big impact. We've had to refund a lot of private parties as well, so it would have definitely been a big knock for us. And on that subject, Jessica and Mark, next big date in the calendar has got to be Christmas, I suppose, and bookings, which is essential for you. If you were to look into your crystal ball, how do you see your industry dealing with Christmas? I think it's going to be difficult because no one knows what's around the corner. We, we're just taking it a day at a time. We've got bookings for Christmas and we're just hoping that it's all going to be pretty much back to normal. Well, we, we hope, hope so for you too. Listen, we, we wish you continued success with, with your scheme. It's great to see people back out and in, in, in your restaurant. Well done for getting through what you did. And say hello to Harley for us. Whoever, who is Harley? Uh, is he a long-lost um, family relative name? Very good, very good. Thank you very much indeed. Good talking to you. Thank you so much. Thank you. Bye. Thank you. Bye. Thank you. Thank you. She's saying without it, they, they feel they would have gone under. Yeah, absolutely, and many businesses would too. So um, I think it is worth going on to uh, each, your local restaurants, finding out you know, who is doing what kind of scheme and encouraging them because... August wasn't enough to get the hospitality industry back going. We're hoping for more moves from the Chancellor to, you know, perhaps business rates, in, uh, VAT being lowered, um, moves throughout up to Christmas, as you said, Eamon, just to encourage us all to support the hospitality industry. And I shall be doing my bit at lunchtime Good today at Sam's Riverside. You force yourself. <laughs> Do that. I will. Do that. Uh, thank <laughs> you very Alice. much, Alice. Thank you.